It took Beijing a few hours to exhibit Taiwan its prowess as it staged unprecedented war games around the self-ruled democracy it claims as its own. The reason US House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan's capital as Chinese vessels dotted the Taiwan Strait and missiles plunged into the waters surrounding the island, a real risk of conflict reared its head. Kinmen is an island of 140,000 people, sitting less than two miles across from the Chinese city of Xiamen. But its residents are unfazed. I think I'm going to go to the Kimong Yang witnessed China's deadliest bombardment of Taiwan's closest islands to the mainland more than 60 years ago and says the latest drills are small fry in comparison. In 1958, China fired more than a million shells at Kinmen and nearby communities, killing 618 people and injuring more than 2,600. Despite the bitter memories of conflict and current tensions, many Kinmen residents hold friendly views of China after years of close trade and travel links across the short stretch of sea. Jiao 兩大強權的中間,在整個印太戰略裡面,我們就是一個棋子 As in all places, there is a divide on the islands too, with some Kinmen residents ready to defend their homeland against Chinese aggression. 當然願意啊,為什麼不願意呢?台灣才一個而已啊,若是被被打掉,那怎麼辦? 說說說我是覺得是說台灣真的是很快樂的國島,哪一個島國啦,啊,因為我也不希望就是有軍事發生,若是真的有提升到那個等級的話,我還是很樂意會為國家提提升出來為台灣而戰。While these islands once served as a natural barrier to invasion, Beijing can now easily bypass them with its superpower armory of missiles jets and aircraft carriers. But the residents are not rushing for the bunkers to hide or supermarkets to stockpile anymore. 